that idea when it was presented to you? And will there be an epic wedding in season six? <laughs> presented. Um, yeah, how did you feel when it was presented to you? Um, I mean, I read it in the script. I was pretty, I was like, oh, there he goes again. Yeah, there he goes there again. There he goes again. It's a great way to describe my character. <laughs> and that again, he, yeah. Um, I read it in the script and I was surprised, but also not surprised. Um, and I remember calling our, our, our wonderful showrunner, NK, and saying, hey, are we just really, are we really doing this again? But it's been great. It's been great. And I think um, it's very sweet. I think they're very sweet together. And yes. it's very exciting for them. And getting into the wedding planning process this season, especially on Jordan's end, he's really excited, loves to plan a wedding. He finally gets to plan a wedding. He gets to plan a wedding. Wedding yeah. of his dreams. A real wedding. I think yeah. he's probably more excited for the wedding than, than Layla, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Layla's very busy. She has a lot going on, so it does definitely create some tension with his excitement about the wedding and her more focusing on other ventures. But yeah. I like that you're so excited about the oh, wedding. Planning. Thank you guys so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Uh, happening with the storyline story as we return this year. Peace. Yeah, well, um, as viewers will hopefully remember, um, I mean, this is a relationship that Layla encouraged with patience um, with her fans, so she feels largely responsible for what happened, and we definitely see her, um, we see that take a toll on her mental health and how she deals with it. We see her dealing with that right off the top, first episode back, um, and how everyone in the vortex and her relationship sort of come together to support her through it, because, you know, girlie's feeling guilty. It's mm. pretty intense. GG's, girlie's mm. feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, is there a wedding coming up? Just give us a little. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Um, Layla is the proud owner now of a lounge. It's become the new hangout spot for the group. Um, and um, it's a lot. She's taken on more and more um, as they've sort of transitioned into adulthood. She's adding more businesses onto her roster. And um, her plate is very full. And um, she's going to have to learn how to delegate this year and how to ask people for help. And um, we'll get to see how the people in her life really step up to to help her with with those things. Wow, mm. I know that. Mm. And everything she's going through, I I realized when I was listening to the news yesterday that I did this. I pushed patients to this like new stupid version of herself that Miko became obsessed with, and then. And then I served Miko with a restraining order, even after patients asked me to, to take it easy on her, so I pushed her over the edge. Uh, Miko was already over the edge.